When you wholesale or do online arbitrage, it's important to have a good UPC to ASIN converter tool at hand. It will help you matching UPC codes that you get from other websites so you can see the ASINs on Amazon and see if there is a potential product opportunities. Let's see how to do it. What's up guys and welcome to another video. My name is Tomer from SourcingMonster.com and I started to sell on Amazon a little over three years ago and I was able to scale my business within 18 months to over a million dollars in sales and just recently in 2002 sold my business for over a million dollars and I'm telling you all of this so you can see that I'm an actual seller that you can learn from and everything that I teach and share on this channel is from experience so if you want to get more videos like this one make sure you subscribe to the channel like and comment and let's start with the video okay so before we start let me give you a, a little brief on well, what is UPC and ASIN so UPC is the universal barcode code and by the way you can check this article uh, that we have on UPC to ASIN with some other tools on this uh, video I'm going to focus on uh, uh, Turbo Piranha and how it works and how powerful it is but UPC it's the individual code universal uh, product code that is 12 digit number or numeric code printed on the product packaging you will find it on every product below the barcode the main purpose of the UPC is to help you scan and record the product and ASIN ASIN it stands for Amazon standard and the identification number it's a unique number that Amazon generating to recognize their product uh, and every uh, product have a unique ASIN. Uh, every ASIN could have many, many SKUs. So for example, you can have multiple sellers selling under the same ASIN. So you can have like thousands of, like potentially thousands of SKUs, unlimited number of SKUs for each ASIN, for each individual seller. And they do it to recognize between inventories and to help them manage, manage their FBA program better. Um, not just for uh, FBA, actually, it's for other stuff as well. Now, why you want to, why you need the UPC to ASIN converter? You need it if you are a wholesaler, if you are doing retail arbitrage, if you are doing online arbitrage, and you want to see product opportunities to sell on Amazon. So, for example, you got from your supplier or a distributor a list of Excel file with thousands of UPC codes. You take those UPCs and you know the price for them. You convert them to ASIN. And then you have like a tool to compare, okay, that's how much I buy it from my distributor and that's how much it sells on Amazon. And by doing it, you can spot opportunities that you can list and sell on Amazon. Now, uh, now how, how it works. So let's, uh, let, let me show you how it works with Turbo, Turbo Piranha, which is the number one tool in the list. And if you sign up, you can use the sourcing monster code here and get like the free trial. So make sure you use Sourcing Monster or Sourcing Monster with capital letters. Get the free trial. After you uh, signed up, click on download and download the, tur the Turbo uh, Piranha software. After you download it, you will need to connect your Amazon Seller Central credentials. So it will be here. You will need to authorize. Then after you authorize, you check the connection. Make sure that it's work. Um, and when you click authorize, it will take you to Amazon to create the credentials. But for example, let's find an item here. Let's go to Walmart, okay? If you guys enjoy the content that I'm working very hard to provide and produce for you for free, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment with any feedback or questions do you have, because I personally reply to every comment. And I will also appreciate your support by checking the links and the sponsors in the description below. That's the only way that we keep this channel alive let's open a item that is kind of uh you know popular after you open it uh just right click and view page source and search for the word upc you've got the upc here let's grab this and next thing is i have a upc list or enter manually we enter them manually you can of course do it with the excel file i want the asa numbers and i choose the marketplace as us let's click, let's click start and it's finished the report and nothing came up okay so nothing came up so let's take this item okay let's go and do it again view uh, page source i'm not sure why they didn't find anything sometimes it's not perfect we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this UPC code with number two. Maybe I missed a number. I don't know. Let's do it again. 
let's do start and let's open the file okay so we can see that it found 10 ASINs and then if you click on them it will open them on Amazon I'll just grab this URL okay this one see all buying options so this one sells for 188 the cheapest on Amazon is 494 you need to know what are the FBA fees and if it's a good opportunity for you you can go for it so that's how it works very straightforward very easy to use you get a free trial of course I did it manually just to show you how it works with just one a uh, UPC but uh, you normally you won't want to analyze ton of UPC codes and see uh, opportunities by yourself